Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today as I poured my uh, cream into my coffee and it sunk to the bottom. I don't know what to do. Uh, I've always heard that the cream rises to the top, but maybe when the cream sinks to the bottom, the cream's not good anymore. Um, basically, uh, there was a story that, that floated around yesterday, that, which honestly shouldn't even have been a story. Um, it just was uh, CM Punk answering a tweet on Twitter, um, basically asking uh, CM Punk, you know, if WWE gave him $50 million, would he come back to WWE? And uh, CM Punk came back with the answer that money isn't everything. And honestly, um, I honestly don't even know why CM Punk blocked me on tw on Twitter. I, I don't think I've ever really responded uh, to any of his tweets or tweeted him any questions. I've always just sort of enjoyed his tweets and, um, you know, retweeted some uh, as they come across that I like his, his tone on Twitter. And uh, even though, I, you know, CM Punk wasn't that nice to me when I met him at Access and uh, really didn't enjoy it, um, it is what it is. Um, but uh, honestly, you know, CM Punk has moved on from WB. He you know, thought he was going to change the landset of uh, the WWE. He thought he was going to change the way that that place run. Um, you know, he re-signed his contract in 2011. He re he wrestled until the Royal Rumble um, of WrestleMania 30. So I guess that would be 2014. He stayed there for three more years. And he wasn't happy. And he decided to make his life happy. He left WWE. You can say what you want to say about the way that he left WWE. I, I, I honestly think that it would have been nice if he would have returned um, for WrestleMania 30 and gave his fans one last match. He, you know, came out on Twitter and he said, no matter what WWE says, you know, this is it. I told them that I'm going to come back. I'm going to give them one good match. And, um, you know, this is what you can say was was it. Tip your hat to your fans uh, that made you, and uh, it is what it is. Instead, he packed it in. Uh, he went and he sat on his couch and um, found out what he was going to do next with his life. And, and even though that CM Punk hasn't had a fight in UFC, and uh, it, it's always rumored about when this fight is going to happen, who knows? CM Punk might go on to become one of the greatest UFC fighters of all time. I, I don't think it's going to happen. I wish him luck. I, I want the best for him because honestly, even though CM Punk is not a professional wrestler anymore, but if CM Punk goes and tears it up in UFC, it does what Brock Lesnar did. It brings legitimacy to WWE. There's UFC fans, there's WWE fans, and there's some fans in the middle that, that like both. But for the most part, UFC fans hate professional wrestling fans. And professional wrestling fans who try to make their, you know, sport, pastime, hobby, you know, basically they want to, to bring legitimacy to it and say that their guys are as tough as their guys. Nothing's better than our guy going in there and whooping some ass. Um, so we'll see what, what it is. I mean, CM Punk has gone on. He, um, I think he he did some comic book stuff. He's, he's writing Drax, uh, which is the, the, the character that uh, Batista um, plays in the um, movies that uh, Drax is in. I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't watch a lot of comic book movies. I, I like Spider-Man. I gave Superman a chance. It didn't work out for me. We went and saw the Avengers. The kids fell asleep, so I decided that that wasn't for 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 us. And um, you know, you gotta wish this guy success. You know, he he wasn't happy doing what he was doing, so he packed up his ball and he went home. You can you can say good things about him. You can say bad things about him. Definitely, you can tell from pro wrestling tees and other things like that that uh, fans still support this guy and uh, they want to support him and no matter what he does from here on out you know punk has always been been really good um to his true fans and um you know it is what it is we'll see what happens from here but money is and everything is a, is a really good quote from cm punk i honestly think that that we're never going to see CM Punk in WWE ever again. He's not going to wrestle again. He's not going to make a uh, sporadic Monday Night Raw appearance. He's not going to be at Access. He's not going to be at the Hall of Fame. I think that he has drawn a line in the sand. And I think that CM Punk is never going to cross that line, no matter what point of life he's in. Um, I don't know if that means AJ never comes back. Um, AJ never wrestles again. AJ never does access again. AJ never attends the Hall of Fame. 
But I don't think we'll ever see CM Punk at a scheduled WWE event. I just don't think that, you know, Triple H has pulled off some magic. He's got Warrior to come. He's got Bruno San Martino to come. And CM Punk might drastically be the biggest hurdle in his career because of the fact that, you know, Bruno San Martino and Ultimate Warrior, they did come back, but their problems weren't with Triple H. Their problems were with Vince McMahon. And Triple H basically talked to these guys as, you know, Vince is here. Vince has changed. But you're not negotiating with Vince. You're negotiating with me. I'm going to give you a fair deal. I'm not going to try and screw you the way that you think Vince screwed you in the past. So, I mean, honestly, if you ever want to see CM Punk in WWE again, maybe that has to be the person that comes behind Triple H. And maybe it's going to be a long damn time.